Okay, as you can see, my PC ran into the problem and it needs to be restarted. In case if your PC runs into the problem and needs to be restarted for a certain reason, something like a stop code is a kind of error code uh, like 0xc uh, and something like it's a uh, 5 different 021a. So if you guys are getting the error like this, you can follow the number of steps in this tutorial. One of the other steps will definitely help you in case if it helps. You're gonna share this video with your friends and family. Okay, guys, you're gonna type the command SFC space slash scan now. It needs to be together and press enter again. So it will take some time. Uh, let it to complete 100% and you're all done. Okay, guys, you can sit down with the 100%. Now just exit it. Okay, let me exit it and press enter again. Finally, we we'll just uh, give a restart your PC and check if uh, it fixes the issue. Okay guys, you're gonna go to search and you're gonna type ADPANS Advanced SYSTM System SVTT ING Settings. Here you have View Advanced System Settings. Click on it. This window will pop up. So once this window will pop up, make sure you have selected the Advanced uh, tab. And then here you have a Startup and Recovery. Click on Settings. In Settings, if this automatic restart is checked, you can uncheck the box. Here you have automatic memory dump. You're gonna change it to complete memory dump. Click on OK. You're gonna see this. Click on OK. And make sure you restart your PC now. So in order to uh, in order to make these changes, uh, bring these changes into effect, you need to restart your PC and your issue should be gone. Create a system restore point or you're gonna type as it is create a system restore point. You can follow these steps for Windows 10 and Windows 11. Assume you can restore the system. You can click on system restore, click on next, and here you have a system restore point you have created. You can click on next and follow this wizard to restore the system to this particular state. Click on finish. Click on yes. Now my system will be restored at this particular point again. So this is the procedure. How do you create a system restore point and how do you again restore your system to that particular date? So what you can do is uh, if you are really while working on daily basis on your PC, you are doing different kinds of tasks and you are installing different types of applications. What you can do is you can come to this wizard and you can create a restore point every day. Later on, suppose any day we are getting any kind of a uh, problem in your PC, you can still come one day back into your PC and you can access all your important files and you can start working. Or you can create a restore points on every week. So number every week if you create a restore point and you can give the date on a name so you can recognize it. So every day, uh, sorry, every week restore point will be there in your PC. So you can restore your PC again back to any state or any date later on. So you can see my system is being restored. You can see it's gonna take uh, some time and you have to just uh, walk around and come back. I've successfully restored and here it is. So even I have a message over here that system, system restore completed successfully. The system has been restored to this particular point and 8, 19, 23 and even date. The document has not been affected. So none of the document has been affected. Troubleshoot. In the troubleshoot, again you have an advanced option. Inside advanced option, again you need to come back to the command prompt and then you're going to choose command prompt and click on it. So, guys, you have to type all the commands correctly without any spelling mistake. Okay, guys, I hope command is visible. 
or you can watch it in a full screen. So you can see, even I've left the command in the pinned post, it's a comment section down below. B O O T R E C dot E X E slash rebuild B C D. And guys, you're going to press enter key. So this might take some time. Finally, once you're done, you're going to type the second command. Okay, guys, this is the second command you need to type. Boot rec dot exe space slash fix mbr. Click on enter. Okay, now the third command and the last command that you need to type. Bootrick dot exe slash fix boot fix boot. Press enter key. Some kinds of access denied. So sometimes you get the message like this. So type all these commands correctly and Maybe in your case, access is not denied. In my case, it's access denied. Two commands work successfully. Third command, access denied. So anyway, you're gonna type all these three commands correctly. And then finally, you just have to exit it. Exit the command prompt, turn off your PC, and then start your PC again. Or just directly, you're gonna restart your computer. Okay guys, you're gonna run this command uh, without any spelling mistake. So you can even run this command from a advanced mode. Currently you can see it is in a administrator command prompt. So you can run this command even from X drive in an advanced mode if you cannot turn on your PC. Access the command prompt from an advanced mode and then you can run this command. Press enter key. You can see so everything is okay. And here it is. The boot code was successfully updated on all targeted volume. Okay, guys, this is another command you're gonna run. You can run this command also from uh, advanced mode if you cannot turn on your PC. Press enter key. So, guys, you got I got uh, error 87. So, some spell uh, some spelling mistakes. There's no uh, okay. Some spelling mistake. So in case of uh, restore, I have a scan health and everything is okay. I just put the space in between and then I'm gonna press uh, enter key. Now you can see it's working. So you're gonna use this command instead of first one. First one really do not work. So it's just gonna take some time and it will be done. So you can run this command uh, from uh, advanced mode also if you cannot log in into your PC so if you have a loop problem you can run it from advanced mode it's X drive just keep some time and it will be done So if you do not proceed ahead, just uh, hit enter key and it will start working. So you can see uh, it's done with a 39-41%. So you can see 100% the operation completed successfully. Now you're going to exit it. And then I have to give one restart to your computer. And then I have to check if the issue is fixed. You're going to choose command prompt and click on that. You're gonna choose the user account. So you might be having a multiple number of user in your computer. So you're gonna choose the user. Make sure you have a administrator privilege to the user. Enter the password if you have password for your account and click on continue. And now here you have a command prompt. Okay guys, I hope command is visible.
it will locate the bad sector and recover some of the files that is readable. So guys, you just have to press enter key after you type it correctly. Now you can see it is going on, everything is in process. Just give some time. Doing this might take a pretty long time. So you just give some time. Finally, once you're done, you're gonna press exit. So if it asks you for the, any kinds of permission in your computer, like yes or no, you're gonna type Y for yes, and then press enter key. So finally, it's all done. You're gonna exit it. And now restart your computer. You're just gonna choose, it's a troubleshoot. And here you have, uh, reset this PC. Let's click on that. Keep my files or remove everything. Okay guys, this will restart your PC. And after restarting, this is what you get. Your account, one you use to log in your PC. So if it is password protected, you have to enter the password and click on continue. If it is not password protected, just directly click on continue. Now, once you click on continue, this is what you get. Resetting this PC, getting the things ready. So give us some time and it will get all the things ready. Okay guys, now here it is. Once it's, once uh, it gets ready, click on reset. You know, this might take several minutes and we are all done. Your piece will be all the way ready to use. So finally, here is your PC all the way ready to use.